Well, everybody, we are back at this part of this project today. I uploaded a short of getting started on it. So, I got this uh, old Sandvec face mill. It's got some deficits. We're uh, missing like this one. I cannot get out. It's stripped out. It has no um, insert in it. And this one is stripped out and has beat up insert in it. So running two inserts down, it was all I had on a short notice. I've got more parts for coming for that to fix it. But you can see she's doing a pretty respectable job. We're just not pushing it very hard. And we're getting a skip tooth arrangement. But anyways, I am done carving my way half across this half of the plate. Now I gotta clean this all off, skip it over while get a hard on myself here. What I gotta do next is pull that big corn cob cutter out, get it in the quill, and edge this plate past the center. And then we're gonna pick this sucker up, shift it this direction, face it, edge it, and get all that part of the program done. So that's what we're up to. I think what's going to happen is the center line of my cutter is going to end up right about there. So I'd have to, I don't know if I want to hang the angle plate as far off the edge as I have to in order to reach that. Alright, get the camera out of harm's way. My beard, I'm pretty sure I'm smoking right now. I caught a few. Alright, let's let her eat. Now, admittedly, there's still a lot of cutters for this machine. So I've got to try this for a combination of a couple things. I never had enough good inserts to run in it. We just found some of those the other day. And to be honest with you, I guess I never quite realized that I had the right combination of adapters. So I might have been tempted to try it before. But as it is, Yes, rather than... Well guys, that came out astoundingly nice. So, you know, right in here is where I'm overlapping. Um, so I feel, you know, I've got a little bit out of square. I feel a slight step, you know, 12 inches wide though. I mean, feelable, but barely, like we're probably talking half of that. You can see it's not here because I went up the face, I had to go up the end there. But the worst spot in the whole thing is that little point right there where I met and I met. And that, like I say, I'm gonna say maybe half a thou at most, so. I am very happy with that considering that I had to do this in multiple steps and that I couldn't get all the way off the edges of my part at the ends. I mean, it's not a beautiful scenario. I shoving a 12 inch face mill at somewhere around 50,000 steps to cut. I don't remember exactly where I ended up because I kept bumping in. I was 
you can see where I was working, but I knew there was a big uh, hole in the middle, so I kept bumping my way in until I was convinced I was right, but right around 50 thou depth of cut, um, 340 uh, surface feet per minute, um, we're doing uh, 114 RPM. Anyway, she's singing right along. We're making uh, just barely a little bit straw colored uh, shavings. The uh, tool would obviously take more than what I'm giving it, but I don't know if I want to push the old mill any harder than this. Doing, uh, what was it now? I gotta look at my chart. I'm on, oh, on 43 thousandths per revolution feed rate right now. Well, final roughing pass. unbelievable amount of time into this plate so far. And all I've done to it is deck one side off, wrapped out the other side, and squared up one edge. I still got this end and the top to square up, and then a bunch of keyways and you name it to put in. So we got a ways to go yet. So this edge of this plate had a big dip in it, so I started just barely skimming anything in here, and now we're up to probably a good eighth inch depth of cut at this point. That old corn cap's doing a bang up job now. Well, we made it. it uh, I was able to get just off the end of it, I went back up and touched, and then took a hundred thou, because I want to make darn sure that if that thing's crooked, I don't run out. I want to just one pass it and be done but this will be really nice because now I'll have one corner that I can really trust on this plate so that's always useful when you're doing setup so I have got this set of used table keys that are out of I don't know what but they're technically the right size but they're too tight you gotta like drive them in with a hammer it's not the kind of fit I'm after. So. Well, good morning, everybody. I cashed it in last night. I was having trouble doing the math. It had been a long day, and I decided enough of it. So I've been at it again this morning. Um, I had these two key slots in when I uh, quit last night, and this morning now I put in that one and that one. The idea being that I can pull this plate and index it either direction of my table, and that's where it was messing with my head figuring out where those needed to be i have been hand tapping these with the assistance of a guide here simply because the only other safe way to do this would be to set up my tapping and these are blind holes there's no way i'm running blind holes rigid tapping with a machine this size on 5 16 it's guaranteed broke taps. Well, here's where we're at. I have through drilled all of them that would clear the uh, angle plate, so I've got 20 of them there. And then I've drilled about halfway through the plate all of them that I could reach on this side. Um, which is another 15. I can get just past center. And my theory with that is that those ones I will chase on through with the mag drill. resist the 
urge to just go to tapping and get the darn thing done. So I figure this tap, like I say, it's not very good shape. If it gives up the ghost, no great loss. We'll uh, see what we can accomplish with our main plan. altogether awful that I'm doing this with my old tap and the reason is some of these holes the first few especially I wasn't hitting my uh, alignment dead on the reason for that was that I had indexed off the top and end of the plate but in order to be able to reach all four of these middle ones I couldn't set the plate up so I could reach the end so I got back on my pattern by just popping into one of them holes and I should have uh, you know, they were all threaded. That was the trick. Otherwise, I could have run, you know, indicated the inside of the hole. But as it was, it worked out. But I've got a little bit of misalignment step in some of these bores. Say I've never had a reason to try and remove it, but that's about the most gnarly up Morris taper shank I've seen in a while. The inside feels really good, so it must be extremely hard is what I'm thinking. That is interesting. You see, somebody had uh, wiped out the drag tang arrangement at once. Huh. Yeah, I've never bothered to take any of this apart before. Interesting, all the way around. All right, so I went and dug around and I found the tool that I really need for this job, which is a torque limiting tap driving head with a number three Morse taper shank on it. Went to put it in here and discovered that this goobery weld nonsense they've done is interfering something up here in the tang isn't shaped quite the same and i can't get it to seat in there and i seriously contemplated putting this in the lathe and reaching in there and working over but i can't justify it i got more important things to do right now so i've just taken that sleeve smacked her back on there as tight as i can and unfortunately this will go back on the shelf for another day but now that i know this is a possibility for going in here Next time we got a job that's real drilling and tapping operation, I will be figuring out how to make this fit in here. So anyway, just kind of a bummer that it didn't work. So otherwise, this is great. It's positive engagement with the shank, and you set it for, you know, it's got, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, three-eighths, half. This goes all the way to three-quarter inch. There's five-eighths right there. So you just set her at five-eighths, and she hits the max torque limit on a five-eighths tap, and it just goes to slipping. And then these, this is just like the other one that I've got where it's self-aligning. Um, it's spring-loaded both directions in and out and self-aligning to a certain extent side to side. But unfortunately, we're not going to get to use it this time because I ain't got time to mess with it. So my battery died, but I did have to abandon ship on the tapping part. Um, I've got a few out here in the middle. It was just the tap was getting too beat. I was going to break the tap. So. Now I'm uh, chamfering the last of my holes. All right, we are officially done with this side. I got to uh, flip it over and deburr the other side because obviously it's got to sit nice and flat on the table. And I think I've got I got some sharp edges here, like. I gotta run around and touch some stuff up. So that's next step. Pick the thing up, flip it over, get it laying on the other side, and then we should be ready to actually put this thing to work. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm uh, ready to actually do something worth watching. 
Well guys, I think this thing is ready to put on the mill. Just got done putting the table keys in. Um, yeah, I had to, uh, of course, stone the bottom of this thing off because I had a few little furries and stuff around the edges. Even you're running the chamfering tool, stuff kicks up the old birds. So I stoned the whole bottom of it. Just made sure that I don't have any big ugly stuff going on. I say that, feel a little bit of gritties there a minute. Anyway. We're going to uh, get this thing laid back down, pick it up straight, and set around here and get on with this project because I have got a lot of work to get done on these rudders. I think once I get this thing set up on the table, I'll get one or two shots of it, and then we'll probably uh, pinch this video off right here, and then uh, rudders will probably be a separate video because I've already shot so much footage of making this... Uh, fixture plate that I don't think we're going to do much more. And you see, there's more that needs to be done like this was as far as I could reach. Ultimately, when I'm not in the middle of needing to do a job, I'm going to put this up with the table keys in this position and run up and down this side of it and mill it off and get flip it around, mill this end. There's all kinds of stuff that needs to be done, but I just do not have any more time to give to it right now. It's to the stage where everything about it that it needs to have functional for what I'm going to do is. So It'll have to wait for a, a total finish another day. And then, like say, one of these days in that too distant future, my plan is to take this to uh, one of the big shops that's got a surface grinder big enough and have them deck this thing on a surface grinder. So I probably will call uh, Advanced Precision uh, Grinding over there in Detroit and just see once what they thought it'd cost to have me run it over there and drop it off to them and have them deck the thing. So, But anyway, that's the plan. But catch you guys later.